Accusations of elder abuse involving celebrities have been in the news. The late Stan Lee's former business partner was arrested and accused of embezzlement and false imprisonment just last week. And Star Trek icon Nichelle Nichols, age 86, is at the center of a legal battle involving her son's conservatorship and a disputed dementia diagnosis. Well, Carrie Kasem is here. She's the daughter of legendary DJ and radio personality Casey Kasem. She experienced her own very public battle over the care of her father in the last years of his life and now has become an advocate to end the epidemic of elder abuse. And a beautiful shot of you and your father right there. Carrie, thank you so much for joining us today and talking about this, I'm sure, very painful subject for you and very familiar subject for you. So tell our audience your story. It's been five years since your father passed away. June 15th will mark the fifth year of his death. And it also is the year that the UN created for uh, 10 11 years ago now for World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. So he died on Father's Day that year and World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. Yeah. If, if, there, if you believe in signs, you know, right. that's a sign to keep going. Uh, so my father was taken from us, uh, be six years now in June, and basically told we're ne you're never going to see him again. And this is a man we saw every week, talked to every day on the phone. And uh, it's a really long story, but when we called the police, they couldn't help because he's in a residential home, so we were trespassed. When we called Adult Pro Protective Services, they couldn't help. We went to court and soon realized that when you turn 18 in this country, you have no right to see your elderly parents or parents at all. And you fix that by lobbying for the visitation bill. Tell me about that. We have the Case and Cares visitation bill now in 12 states. Nine others have adopted a similar version. You can just ask a judge for visitation. It's that simple. So you don't have to go through an entire fight over conservatorship, guardianship, power of attorney. And if the, your mom or dad, if they don't want to see you, there's no forced visitation. It's a very simple bill that keeps families together. And named after your father because of your situation. Case and cares, yes. And so what are the, some of the red flags for you? What were red flags for your family and red flags that people should be looking out for? Well, when I was, uh, I was on um, a couple radio shows and TV talking about Stan Lee and Nichelle Nichols, but they always say, well, how do you find the abuser? How do you know which one's the abuser? I said, look, look for the isolator. Look for the one that is not allowing friends and family to visit. Look for the one that, that, tells, oh, that tells you your, your dad or mom, they're, they're too tired, they can't come to the phone. Right. That's a huge red flag. Not allowing mom or dad on the phone. They're too tired. They don't want to go out. Those are major red flags. Putting a wedge in between really good friends, lifelong friends, family members. Look for the isolator. And that's exactly what I said when people said, well, you know, with Stan Lee, it could be his daughter, it could be this person, it could be this person. I said, look at the isolator. Who's doing the isolating? Right. Kia Morgan. Right. And a lot of these, we have a, a, a full screen right now. It's a long-standing plans canceled, always too sick. Yes. Those are certain red flags you should look out for as well with your loved one that's in terms right. of isolation. That's right. Okay. And what can families do to protect themselves so that what happened to you what's happening with allegedly with Stan Lee, how can they protect themselves? It's so important to have dialogue. I cannot tell you how many people don't know what mom and dad want. You know, what mom, what, what do you want when you know, you're sick? What do you want if, if you you're, become incapacitated? Do you want to be, you know, resuscitated? And that's a tough conversation to it's, have. We should certainly point out this isn't a celebrity thing. This is everybody goes through this and it's a tough conversation to have, I'm sure. It is a very tough conversation to have, but you need to have it. Otherwise, the court's going to decide for you where your money goes, who takes care of you, how you die. I see it every single day in my line of work. So you need to have that conversation. You also need to put mom or dad on tape, especially if there's a contentious relationship with maybe a second husband, a second wife, another sibling. Uh, get mom or dad saying, hey, if I become incapacitated and somebody in my care keeps me away from my friends and family members, they should be removed from my care immediately. Hold a newspaper so you can see the date. Right. And it seems so bizarre of an idea, but it's something that really needs to be done, and we're seeing it in case after case. Um, and I do want to mention, Carrie, you won an award, you and your family? Yeah, well, actually, Case and Cares. So uh, it was my whole group. I can't do this alone. I have the best group. Kathy Braun, Troy Martin. Uh, we got the Campbells, Glenn Campbell's children, Mickey Rooney's children. They're on board, and the rest of my board, they're amazing. So we got the Presidential Volunteer Service Award. I'm That's wearing amazing. it. Yes, I'm very proud of it. We have congressional recognition and assembly recognition for Case and Cares as well. And, you know, if there is one thing I can say for people to understand what we're fighting for, there's a movie called The Guardians by Billy Mintz. Watch it. If you, 
in any way think that there might be elder abuse in your family and something can go wrong, watch please watch this movie, please. Your father would be so proud of you, Carrie. Thank, Thank you so you. much for stopping by. Thank we'll you. We'll be right back.